Chapter 31 When Moses had finished saying these things to all the people of Israel, he said, I am now 120 years old and am no longer able to lead you. The Lord has told me that I will not cross the Jordan River, but the Lord your God himself will cross over ahead of you. He will destroy the nations living there and you will take possession of their land. Joshua is your new leader, and he will go with you just as the Lord promised. The Lord will destroy the nations living in the land, just as he destroyed Sihon and Og, the kings of the Amorites. The Lord will hand over to you the people who live there, and you will deal with them as I have commanded you. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God will go ahead of you. He will neither fail you nor forsake you. And Moses called for Joshua, and as all Israel watched, he said to him, Be strong and courageous, for you will lead these people into the land that the Lord swore to give their ancestors. You are the one who will deliver it to them as their inheritance. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord is the one who goes before you. He will be with you. He will neither fail you nor forsake you. So Moses wrote down this law and gave it to the priests, who carried the Ark of the Lord's Covenant and to the leaders of Israel. Then Moses gave them this command. At the end of every seventh year, the year of release, during the festival of shelters, you must read this law to all the people of Israel when they assemble before the Lord your God at the place he chooses. Call them all together, men, women, children, and the foreigners living in your towns so they may listen and learn to fear the Lord your God and carefully obey all the terms of this law. Do this so that your children who have not known these laws will hear them and will learn to fear the Lord your God. Do this as long as you live in the land you are crossing the Jordan to occupy. Then the Lord said to Moses, The time has come for you to die. Call Joshua and take him with you to the tabernacle, and I will commission him there. So Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves at the tabernacle, and the Lord appeared to them in a pillar of cloud at the entrance to the sacred tent. The Lord said to Moses, You are about to die and join your ancestors. After you are gone, these people will begin worshipping foreign gods, the gods of the land where they are going. They will abandon me and break the covenant I have made with them. Then my anger will blaze forth against them, I will abandon them, hiding my face from them, and they will be destroyed. Terrible trouble will come down on them so that they will say, These disasters have come because God is no longer among us. At that time I will hide my face from them on account of all the sins they have committed by worshipping other gods. Now write down the words of this song and teach it to the people of Israel. Teach them to sing it so it may serve as a witness against them. I will bring them into the land I swore to give their ancestors, a land flowing with milk and honey. There they will become prosperous. They will eat all the food they want and become well nourished. Then they will begin to worship other gods. They will despise me and break my covenant. Then great disasters will come down on them, and this song will stand as evidence against them, for it will never be forgotten by their descendants. I know what these people are like even before they have entered the land I swore to give them. So that very day Moses wrote down the words of the song and taught it to the Israelites. Then the Lord commissioned Joshua son of Nun with these words, Be strong and courageous. You must bring the people of Israel into the land I swore to give them. I will be with you. When Moses had finished writing down this entire body of law in a book, he gave these instructions to the Levites who carried the Ark of the Lord's Covenant. Take this book of the law and place it beside the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God, so it may serve as a witness against the people of Israel. For I know how rebellious and stubborn you are. Even now, while I am still with you, you have rebelled against the Lord. How much more rebellious will you be after my death? Now summon all the leaders and officials of your tribes, so that I can speak to them and call heaven and earth to witness against them. I know that after my death you will become utterly corrupt and will turn from the path I have commanded you to follow. In the days to come, disaster will come down on you, for you will make the Lord very angry by doing what is evil in his sight. So Moses recited this entire song to the assembly of Israel.